this is a natural aquarium here we need not to uh, use electricity to pump air for uh, fish generally the fish require dissolved oxygen sometimes if uh, there is no vegetation if there are no aquatic plants generally oxygen will be depleted so 24 hours we should pump oxygen to make the fish survive for long life generally when we are add some feed they take some amount of oxygen to decompose they consume some amount of oxygen and uh, reduce the dissolved oxygen so that fish suffer due to lack of oxygen at this condition generally people recommend aeration we aerate the aquariums with uh, small pumps electrical pumps they continuously supply the air and they pump the air into the water so that oxygen will be dissolved in the water and that oxygen will be used for the fish but in natural aquarium we need not to use electricity we need not pump oxygen we put some plants which generate oxygen suppose here you can see a plant hydrilla see this is a hydrilla plant you might be seeing this is hydrilla this plant liberates oxygen in presence of sunlight due to photosynthesis it liberates uh, oxygen and this oxygen is dissolved in the water and it supplies this oxygen to the fish and sometimes chlorella some other green algae they also produce oxygen and they give this oxygen to fish so if we maintain some amount of aquatic plants they produce oxygen and make the fish to survive and in natural aquarium you don't put more number of fish only limited fish the amount is calculated so that in natural aquarium they don't get any problem of depletion of dissolved oxygen here in this uh, aquarium we are putting so many aquatic plants which are useful for hiding as well as uh, as a feed also these aquatic plants are useful here some of the plants i will show these plants are azula water fern these will be useful as a feed these azula contains around 30% of protein on dry basis one dry basis 30% crude protein and this um, fish uh, eat this azula sometimes if they feel hunger they eat this azula they are containing about 30% protein on dry weight basis and another species duckweed lemna species you see this small leaf lemna this lemna species lemna species this four leaf this lemna species containing even more amount of protein they contain up to 40 to 60% protein depending on the environment so we should they also eat this uh, lemna duckweed there are so many types of duckweed these are one type of duckweed and the uh, aquarium we are showing these are also like no lemna species this is lemna minor small type and uh, this is uh, water hyacinth Iconia crassips, water hyacinth. Fish also eat uh, this uh, water hyacinth roots, young roots, and um, sometimes decomposing 
leaves also they eat these also contain around 30% protein nowadays human beings also eating this uh, water hyacinth and we can put for poultry also poultry also birds also eating and pigs also eat this uh, water hyacinth so we can use this water sen water hyacinth for many uses nowadays people olden days they are feeling as if we don't do so much problem about to uh, water hyacinth in so many lakes and uh, water bodies it is a big problem so they don't want to grow this uh, weed but nowadays people are finding this use this water hyacinth pure by the water and they are using for furniture and uh, they are using as a feed and uh, for manure also for generating biogas also they are using so many ways uh, they are using this water hyacinth for fish also it is useful they are eating the roots of the water hyacinth and um, dry leaves decomposing leaves also they are eating it, they are having 30% protein and the thing is this is uh, pistia generally fish don't eat uh, this pistia this pistia is, is having oxalic acid maximum oxalic acid that's why they but they hide young fish hide in this roots and um, they escape from the enemies so in this way so many other species also we can maintain in aquatic uh, in um, natural aquariums we need not uh, put any electricity so what also we need not change much once in a 10 uh, days or once in a month also we can keep this is we need not to change frequently but it is uh, good to change if uh, in 10 days interval 15 days if you change it is a uh, good for health but sometimes i kept for 6 months also 6 months also nothing happened in this natural aquarium even a single fish didn't get any problem but it is advisable to change the water every week every sunday you uh, change the water and keep the good quality of water if time permits if time never permits then you can keep for one month two months depending on but it is advisable if you change the water in weekly intervals this is a natural aquarium you can see the fish also you might be seeing the fish So, in this aquarium, it is easy to maintain the things. Um, sometimes if you forget to adding food, no problem, it, uh, they survive on natural food. Even then we are putting some food, some artificial food, some granules, some vitamin rich granules, uh, many companies are supplying. We are giving those food, granules. I will show the granules also, that, those type of foods. These are the different types of uh, foods. Different companies uh, producing different, around um, each packet is uh, 50 rupees. They supply 100 grams of fish. For each aquarium, for one month, you can use this. Uh, there are few grams. You put some 1 gram or 2 gram for each aquarium. That much amount is sufficient. This 100 grams, for one month uh, you can use this. Means daily 3 grams. 3 grams means uh, 13 to 3, 90 grams are sufficient uh, for one month. Only 50 rupees for 100 grams. So, it uh, gives happiness daily observing fish and how they eat, how they swim and how they you know, grow. 
children also feel happy by seeing these natural aquariums. So thank you very much.